guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov. I am the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today we will talk about vector brushes in Adobe Fresco. So guys, let's start. I have opened Adobe Fresco and first of all I need to create a new document. I will click on this plus sign and I will specify that I would like to create my um, art for digital purposes. So I will click on digital tab and here I will click on standard screen just like this. I will zoom out my document just for better preview for now. And now I would like to bring my sketch into my document. I previously created a, a rough outline of my rows I will be working on today just to save our time. And I know that my a sketch located in my camera roll. I will click on this image icon. I will click on camera roll. And here I will click on my sketch just like this. First of all, I would like to resize it. I would like to size it down and also I would like to reposition it slightly to the right. And I will click down. Now guys, I will click on this um, color icon and I would like to reposition my um, color wheel. I will reposition it next to my um, toolbar for a better access to color at any time. Now I will click on third icon, a brush icon in my toolbar. Third, um, a brush icon is um, a vector package. If I will um, click and hold on this brush, I will expand a vector brushes um, folder. Here, guys, I have my favorite uh, brushes and I did show to you how you can add any brush to your favorites in my previous tutorial. So I will click on a basic flat uh, brush and I will specify the color. I will use dark, this um, burgundy color with my first shape. Also, guys, I would like to specify um, size of my brush about probably 22.5. And also I would like to specify smoothing. I would like to increase um, a smoothing value to 84. Now guys, I will zoom in my document just like that. And I can create a new layer before I will start working on my shape or I just can start working on creating my shape because Fresco is so intuitive. Fresco knows exactly what brush I'm working with. And if I'm working with a vector brush, uh, Fresco will create a new um, layer for my vector brush. If I work with um, live brushes or pixel brushes, uh, Fresco will create separate, separate layer for these brushes as well. So I selected my brush, I specified my uh, color and I will create this uh, basic shape just like this. Now, after I closed my shape, I will switch to paint basket and I will click inside my shape to fill the shape with this color just like this. Now, I will create a new layer and I will create a few extra, oh, I'm sorry, I will create a few extra shapes just like I will switch back to paint basket and I will fill this color with this shape with this color. And I will continue guys basically doing the same. Just like this. Let me zoom in. I will be switching between um, my vector brush tool and paint basket tool to create something very unique. Just like that. You can um, use just your vector brush without um, paint basket to fill some uh, shape with some color. Guys, everything is up to you. No rules in here. I always think no rules. Now, I will create a new empty layer. I will switch to lighter color of a um, lighter shade of same color. And I will create this simple shape just like this. And I will switch to paint basket tool to fill the shape with this color. And I will continue switching between these two tools to create um, some extra shapes. Just simple like this. Of course, guys, you can um, 
I create something um, more beautiful and more detailed. If you have some time, I just, as usual, I don't want to keep you here longer than this supposed to be. Just like this. Now, what I will do, guys, I will switch to a lighter shade of same color. I will create a new empty layer and I will create another shape using same vector brush, guys. Yes, we are working on a vector brush on vector art. If you made any mistake, simply click on undo icon, just like that, and you will be able to start um, over. Or simply delete the layer. Just like that, I will bring size of my brush a little bit down, and I will create this shape. And I fill the shape with the same color, just like this. And one more shape, I will increase size of my brush. Just like this. Guys, look at this, how easy is it? Now, guys, I would like to create a new shape behind all my previously created shapes. I will select my um, sketch layer and I will create a new layer. And now I will be able to add uh, all shapes behind my previous created shapes. How easy is it? And maybe I will switch to lighter shade of same color just to make it more interesting. Just like this, guys. As you notice, nothing is too complicated. Everything is so easy with Fresco. Fresco is absolutely amazing app. Very intuitive and very easy to work with just like this and now I will create a new layer and I will use some darker uh, shade of burgundy color I will switch to my um, uh, vector brush I will increase size of my brush just like that maybe it's too much I will bring size of my brush down and just Look at this, guys, how easy is it? And now I can use the same brush to fill this shape with this color, just like this. Let me zoom out. Beautiful. Now, I will select my uh, sketch layer. I will create a new empty layer. I will change color of my brush. And now I will continue working on my project. Just like this, guys. And maybe something like this. You can add a more or a less details. It's up to you guys. Again, no rules is here. Uh, it's your creation. It's your uh, vision. It's your soul. Everything is up to you. Now, I will create a new empty layer. I will use darker shade of same color. I will bring size of my brush down and I will apply a few extra details to my art. Just like this, guys, it's so easy. It's so easy and so amazing. Please um, create something after my uh, tutorial and let me know what do you think, how much you love this application. I know you will love it. Just like this and few more deta details around here just like this now i will create a new empty layer i will use a lighter shade of same color to add a few extra details to my art but i will switch to another vector color i will switch to let's see i will switch to basic topper just like that i will bring size of my brush down and using this brush i will add a few extra details to my art Guys, this is incredibly easy. I know you can tell that it's super easy. Just like this and maybe a few brush strokes in here. Now, I will highlight my top layer. I will create a new empty layer. I will switch to yellow color just to add a few splashes of unexpected color. And I will add a few details um, around my rose. And again, guys, it's your art. Do whatever you want. Um, 
let me add a few details around here just like this maybe like this of course again guys you can add less or more details it's up to you I'm just giving you some ideas of what you can create using this beautiful a beautiful app using a vector brushes just like this now I will highlight my um, a first shape just like this I will create a new layer and now I would like to add a few details to my rose using previous color I used I can um, choose color from a recent palette you can see or I can click on my eyedropper tool and I can move my eyedropper tool over um, the color I want to use example like this and now I will switch back to my um, uh, basic flat brush and I will add a few details to my art. Maybe I need a top layer, right? Something like this. Again, if you made a mistake, don't stress out. Simply undo it and you will able to fix anything you like. And now I will switch to paint basket tool and I will, oh, I'm sorry. And I fill this layer with um, shape with some uh, color. As you notice, I didn't close my shape completely. And because of that, uh, fresco think that I, I want to fill this uh, particular layer with um, uh, this color. So I will undo it. I will be back to my shape. I will switch back to my, um, brush and I will close this shape just like that and now I will switch to basket tool and I fill this um, shape with this color just like this now I can highlight my um, burgundy uh, shape I will add a new layer I will switch to my um, basic tapper um, brush with darker color and I will add a few highlights, few details, few shadows to my art. Just like this, guys. Look at this. How easy is it? Nothing is too complicated. And again, guys, you can do anything you like. It's your creation. It's your art. No rules in here. I'm just giving you an idea of what you can create using this amazing app, just like this. And guys, I'm happy with this rose. Definitely, I can add more details to my art. But as I said before, I don't want to keep you here longer than it's supposed to be. Now, let's talk about our background. Uh, first of all, I don't need my sketch layer anymore. I will click on my sketch layer and I will hide this layer just like that. I don't need it. Also, of course, I can delete it. If I will click on this layer, I will click on this three dots and I will click on delete layer. This layer will be deleted. Now, I can create a new empty layer under my all uh, shapes, all layers. I can specify color. Example, maybe this um, bright blue color I will switch to paint basket tool and I will uh, click and hold inside my layer this um, paint basket tool just like this and now paint basket tool is asking me how would you like to fill this layer with a vector or vector or pixels definitely I would like to fill this layer with a vector so I will click on a vector and voila guys how easy is it this is awesome and now guys this is what i wanted to share with you and again i did show to you before how you can um share your um a file how you can save your file but i would like to show to you one more time time lapse preview i will click on share icon i will click on a quick on a publish and export export and I will click on time-lapse export 
just like that and I will click on play button and voila Fresco records everything for me how awesome is it so guys this is what I wanted to share with you in this tutorial if you have any questions as usual just let me know I will be more than happy answer to any of your questions and please create something share on Twitter and tag me in your creation Thank you so much guys and I will I will see you later super appreciated your time thank you guys bye